Nice to talk us through that try, uh, long range, break up field, beat a few people and over for the score. Yeah, it went something like that. Um, obviously, just, I don't know, I don't know how far myself to the line, but yeah, it's just a great try. I really enjoyed it. Uh, when you, Rowan said to you, you're going to be involved tonight, what, what, were, you, what were you, hopes for what, what could happen out there? Um, I'm just hoping to get some decent game minutes because I've been I've been banned for the last couple of weeks. So any game time, I'm really looking forward to just getting really. When did you find out you're going to be involved? Um, I found this morning because yesterday I told I was 18th man, and then I went to train and Corey was ill, so um, he called me this morning and told me I'll be come off the bench. And the chance to, to play at home, it's been a long time since Ryan has been at home. How good was that? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it was good to be back home and be in front of the clouds. And obviously, it's even better to beat Wigan at home. How tough has it been this year, obviously, with, with the ban and, and trying to earn yourself a, a place in the side, but unable to do that? Uh, obviously, it's been real, real tough. It's been up and downs, and but I really feel like I've grown from it and I've, I've learned a lot in the time that I've been banned. And, being at Bradford, being back here, so I just taking everything as it comes really and yeah. And Rowan talks about the group who've been working together away from mm. on, on non training days, doing all that. So give us an insight into what you guys have been up to. Um well a couple of weeks ago I went for a walk um, Rowan joined us actually. Um the band club we call it. Um and then we played some squash the other week as well, um first time ever. Um, we've done loads of activities and I think it's really brought us close together and it's really, I've, I've kind of enjoyed my time being banned, you know, weird sense. So yeah, it's not been too bad. It's, it's tough, isn't it? You just want to be out there playing uh, and you <coughs> can't do that while you're doing it. Has that been good to distract you from, from those frustrations? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it made my time kind of fly by. Um, I reckon if, if we didn't do any of them things and it would have felt like miles away, but the time really have flown by and yeah, I'm glad to be back now. And team backing up from, from that Toulouse game to get a win tonight is, will give everyone a boost. Oh, forward. definitely. Obviously, the conditions in Toulouse were sounded horrendous. Uh, we trained the other day in, like, in 27 degrees and I was almost, almost dying. And obviously, it was like 10 degrees hotter out there. So I felt for the boys out there. And obviously, it was good to get back to Headley and win and get back to winning ways, hopefully. Come does back it, up next week. Does it give you a boost, the fact that, you know, when Corey goes down, that Rowan's confidence to, to put you into the side? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I hope I've been training hard enough and working hard enough to step up when I'm called upon. Um, yeah, the sort of the work I've been putting in the training is good enough. And obviously, you're looking to sort out your, your future from next year and, and beyond to get a try live in front of the Sky Cameras. Can't do any harm in that. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, hopefully that helps a bit.